Hello, friends, family, and my followers. This is Hike360, and I'm here to give you a new hike this week. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! Hike360 here. We're about to do another hike this week. We are at the old school forest preserve at the trailhead of the, uh, the Des Plaines River hike that we're gonna do. We're up in Lake County, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go across the street here. That's across uh, St. Mary's. St. Mary's, thank you. St. Mary's Road, and we're gonna be hiking north uh, through Adler Park up to uh, Independence Grove Forest Preserve, and then we're gonna turn around and hike back. Uh, so that's going to take us all along the Des Plaines River. We're looking at nine and a half miles all together. And uh, I want to mention also that this trail is continuous all the way through Lake County. Well, we are heading along the Des Plaines River Trail. We're at uh, mile 20. Of course, we're only half mile into our hike, but it's mile 20 on the marker for the whole trail. Yeah, because I think it's start. It's that's starting at Lake County. Okay. I think that's the 20 miles from the from border. the beginning of Lake County. That makes sense. And this is the prairie area, and the houses are here, but uh, no, this is kind of a nice, nice big section of prairie. The path is beautiful. A little bit of an auspicious beginning, huh? With all the people or <laughs> trying to make the video? <laughs> or starting on the wrong path, going the oh, wrong direction. Is that too? We had to come back. And then uh, we did a little trailblazing. Get back on the trail. That's all I'll say about that. <laughs> all right, so this trail starts south of the old school parking lot. That when you first get into the old school, area there's a whole big loop and a beautiful it's a beautiful forest preserve but you want to park right at the big right at the entrance and then the trail is just south of there and it's, we thought it was north there's a tunnel under the road to get oh, the follow me let me show you something cool Nice set of homes. We're north of 176. Uh huh. Along, along the trail. This is bridge number one on our hike today, which we get to cross twice. Once on the way there, once on the way back. That would be twice. Ha. Oh, that's the train track. Ah. Oh. Ooh, meal. All right. Boy, the this, the river seems really small right here. Maybe it's just the time of year. Yeah, I wonder how how high it gets and thinking about the Skokie Lagoons and how they look on a over flooded day or well by O'Hara you know displays floods all the time. Oh <laughs> my mind is going crazy. His mind is going crazy. Uh, the, the mile markers we learned are going down, so if they're counting where zero is the Wisconsin border. Watch out, a spiker. Where? Right. Ah. We are not much farther from the train bridge when we get to this river level situation. There's a canoe launch up here, so that's nice to know. There were some ducks. Oh, they we're in the corner there.
So I have to say this is nice. I mean, this is like society doing their best. We got roads and train tracks and basically land that is should never be built on. <laughs> Why not enjoy it with a nice path? Good looking ducks over there. You know, it's funny you say that. I actually kind of thought to myself, those are good looking ducks. <laughs> They're bright. Well fed in this little area here. Hey, you got out of the water. He's really killing it being a duck and everything. <laughs> <laughs> a duck's life. Better than a bug's life. And yeah, that'll be the. Uh, That'll be the film that Neil produces, A Duck's Life. A Duck's Life. Although he likes penguins, but I think that's been done. Penguins have been done. Um, a couple of times. March of the Penguins. Yeah. That is interesting. <laughs> we're walking along Lake Minear. Yes, we're walking along. Here we are, we're walking. Hey, I'm walking here. I'm hoping we're gonna get a good view. This is uh, the Adler Park part of the hike. All right, what do you call that thing? What did we find? An Asagi orange. Um, yeah, uh, this is the brain fruit that we were talking about last hike. And uh, it's a fruit uh, from the apple, I think it said from the apple tree. Uh, <laughs> we don't see it very often on these hikes at all, so I don't know. It's kind of interesting. There was a uh, munched on by some animal. There was a bunch of little pieces of it. So I picked up the whole one and broke it open. And I want to taste it, but maybe I'll wait to find a better one. Maybe one that's not on the ground. One that's not on the ground. Not recommended. <laughs> this thing's weird. Is it? Oh, hey! <laughs> okay. <laughs> A YouTube favorite. We've crossed under, I don't know, 137, I think it is. And we hit this really beautiful prairie area. Easy access, obviously, the main road is there. I'm really, I'm really excited about this part of the trail. This I mean, is sick. I really like the last part, which we'll get on film on the way back, uh, because there was a lot of interaction. Uh huh. Uh, and this is no Open. interaction. This is just beautiful views. Just the trail. Well, this has been a very beautiful part of the hike here north of the last northern piece 137 north of 137 so you can see that's our the park on the north side of the hike which is independence grove today yeah independence grove forest preserve okay here's the second bridge so so we're here we're at the end of the end of our hike we turn around and go back this though is a place i want to come back to this is pretty excellent yeah yeah, it's nice. Pretty nice place. Unreal. Although I might want to eat a little more in the sun. All right, so we just finished our hike. It came out to be about 10.3 miles in total. What did we see? Well, I would highly suggest anybody nearby uh, to go to Independence Grove Forest Preserve. Uh, they have a whole lake section. Uh, there's a pavilion, there's trails all over the place. Uh, so it's, it's a lot of fun. And uh, that's where we stopped to have lunch. <laughs>